hi guys welcome to uh, profit and loss session 2 and uh, in this video we'll be seeing a uh, types of question which comes usually comes in the uh, exam from the topic uh, profit and loss so all right so let's get begin with the first question uh, first question is uh, finding the profit or the loss percent okay okay so uh, question is a trader bought a chair for rupees 600 rupees this is the CP for the trader and sold it for 720 rupees which is the SP what is the profit percent as we all know the profit percent is nothing but uh, how we calculate the profit percent guys profit percent is uh, nothing but a uh, profit value upon we always get a uh, profit on cost price so CP into 100 so here uh, profit value is nothing but profit is nothing but uh, SP minus CP so this is 720 minus 600 which will be nothing but uh, 120 right so 120 divided by cost price was 600 into 100 so this get cancelled 6 to ja. so 20% profit is what this is A is the answer or else you can go directly do directly also 600 minus uh, 700 720 minus this is 120 120 is what percent of 600 is nothing but 20 percent fair enough let's jump to the second second is the f uh, article selling price is the same and also the profit and loss percent are the same okay okay so this is the question of uh, L square by 100 this is the standard formula for such kind of question love uh, if the product selling price one and the selling price of another product is selling price let's say 2 s2 s1 and if this is 100 and this is 100 and on one there is a profit of 20 percent and on another there is a loss of 20 percent in that case we use this formula l is nothing but your percentage so in this question a man sells two article at the same selling price one at a 25 percent profit and an an another at 25 percent loss what is the overall profit or loss percent so in this question your 25 percent profit and 25 percent loss so always you remember guys uh, in such questions you always end up with the loss and the loss formula is nothing but l square is nothing nothing but for this percent so this is 25 square upon 100 so this further further game is 625 upon 100 which is nothing but 6.25 percent lost so answer option is B so in such questions uh, you always end up with the loss fine third is the equating selling price and the cost price fine okay the selling price of 12 pen is equal to cost price of 20 pence find the profit percent okay so in this given SP of 20 pen is equal to CP of 20 pen oh sorry SP of 12 pen SP of 12 pen is equal to CP of 20 pen find the profit or percent so in such question you can apply your brain also or you can do directly by the ratio method also so I am going by directly I don't want to apply much sense in such question SP is there and you will bring down to CP it will come here which is equal to 20 will remain here and 12 will go this side so 12 will be here fine so selling price for the product now became 20 rupees and cost price was 12 which means you bought the product for 12 rupees and sold the product for 20 rupees you are making a profit of 8 rupees if the product uh, price is 1 rupees uh, per pen I would say so 8 rupees profit you are making on what you just sold 12 pen guys so on 12 you are making profit into 100 so this is nothing but uh, 4 2 ja and 4 3 ja. so nothing but 200 by 3 is your answer so answer option is A or else you can think of like that also selling price of 12 pen is equal to cost price of 20 pence which means the per when, when the person when, when the person sell 12 pen by selling 12 pen he is getting he is uh, uh, getting the cost of 20 pen which means 8 pen still he is making in profit so that is what the idea behind it okay this one is dealer type 4 uses the false weight okay a trader cheats his customer to make profit by announcing that he sells the goods at cost price but gives the 200 gram less for every 1 kg find the profit percent of the 
trader okay which means the trader was supposed to give thousand grams which is nothing but one kg but he just given 800 grams that means he is making a profit of 200 grams and also saying that he will sell the good at cost price which means he sold just 800 gram which means 800 will be your CP if one gram is costing one rupees and making 200 rupees profit again the same like a previous question to 200 upon 800 into 100 this get cancelled 8 to 16 8 5 the 25 percent profit he is making answer option is a all right so because he is just uh, selling 800 grams and saying 800 is the cost price also so 800 is your CP here also and this is your SP also 800 grams that you have to understand and he is not selling 1000 gram so don't do uh, 200 upon 1000 into 100 that will be wrong guys fine type 5 is a multiple transaction finding the original cost price okay original cost price is the agenda to find out okay A sells a suitcase to B at 10% profit B sells it to C at 30% profit if C pays 2860 for it then what is the price at which A bought the suitcase okay so A sells a suitcase to B so uh, I say A is there B and C okay fine this is the CP and this is the SP let's say A bought the suitcase for 100 rupees now he's saying A sells suitcase to B at 10% profit if A is making 10% profit which means A selling price has to be 110 and 110 will be selling price for A but 110 will be the cost price for B guys right yeah and B sells it to C at 30% profit 30% profit means 10% of this will be what uh, 11 33 so which means B will sell this product at 143 rupees and 143 rupees will be the cost price for the C yeah so now the question is how okay so now the question is how you will be getting 143 guys uh, let me solve otherwise you will not understand that basically uh, I have uh, 110 is the cost price and there is a 30 percent profit so 1 plus 30 by 100 this is what our formula cost price is given which is nothing but uh, 110 into selling price which is required this is nothing but 13 by uh, uh, 10 right into 110 equal to SP so this get cancelled 13 11 3 if you multiply any number by 11 you have to just do you just go and watch my speed mass video 3 3 plus 1 is 4 and 1 143 now according to the according to us C bought this product uh, for C C pays for this product is 143 but according to the question he actually paid what 2860 which means 143 is equal to 2860 which means they are asking a what is the a cost price at which which means 100 is equal to how much so you simply unit unitary method guys uh, 100 upon 143 this is nothing but twice 20 so 2000 is the price answer option is C article sold at, at X price type 6 uh, had it been sold Y more or less okay okay question is Ajay sold his bag at loss of 6% had he sold it for 42 rupees more he would have made a profit of 8% find the cost price of bag so simple let's assume that the cost price of bag is X this is what your CP okay fine now SP will be what uh, he sold at 6% loss which is 0 0.9 4x now I'm writing guys directly how I found the SP you can apply the formula you can and get the answer but this is what the direct I'm using okay so 0.94x and the had he sold it for 42 rupees mold more which means new this is what SP1 a new SP will be what what will be new SP new SP will be 0.94x plus 42 he would have made a profit of 8% 
which means 1 plus 8 p by 100 which is 8 upon 100 cos price I know x is equal to 0 0.94 x plus 42 this is your selling price this is what the formula okay so this is nothing but uh, 0 point uh, this part will be what guys 0 0.08 plus 1 so this will be 1.08 x is equal to 0 0.94 x plus 42 and this will come here so this will be what uh, uh, sorry uh, okay this is 6 and this is 8 okay so this will be 0 0.14 x is equal to 42 further x will be equal to 42 divided by 0 0.14 if I remove this decimal it will become 4200 upon this get cancelled so x is nothing but 300 so they are asking cost price is nothing but 300 or else you can apply shortcut also this is the profit profit always taken positive and this is what the loss the minus of minus loss loss always been considered in negative which is nothing but equal to 42 so this is 42 uh, 14 is equal to 42 and this is uh, percent so this will be like divide by 100 so 4200 upon 14 is nothing but give me 300 you can apply directly also and get the answer this is what the shortcut fine mark price and discount mark price and discount if after giving a discount of 12 percent a profit of 10 percent was made on article then what percent was the price marked up first we have to understand uh, what is the markup we always do markup on this cost price you bought any product and you put a sticker of let's say you bought product for 100 rupees and you put a sticker of uh, uh, 200 rupees let's say you want to be earn 100 100 percent so in that case uh, you are putting uh, you are quoting a new sticker which is of 200 rupees that is a you are marking up the price basically this is what the markup so uh, uh, discount of 12 percent is given so we let's we can assume that a uh, mark price is 100 because we always give discount on mark price and after and giving a discount of 12 percent so after discount it will be 88 and 88 will be your selling price after discount you sell the product and you are making a profit of 10 percent so I have a uh, cost profit percent I have selling price I can find out the cost price okay so 1 plus 12 uh, 10 by 100 uh, cost price is equal to 88 so this get cancelled this is nothing but 11 by 10 equal to cost price equal to 88 and this get cancelled 8 so C is equal to 80 cost price is 80 alright so uh, fine so you got the cost price as 80 guys right and then what is the percent price uh, what is the percentage was price marked up okay you, are, you bought the product for 80 rupees but you mark that product for 100 rupees now that means you have marked a mark up that product by 20 rupees and 80 divided by 80 which is cost price because you mark up markup percent we calculate markup value upon cost price into 100 this get cancelled so this is 200 by 8 upon 8 nothing but this is 8 to 8 5 25 percent is the markup this is what the type 7 guys okay marking up the cost price okay marking up the cost price a trader mark his product 15 percent a trader mark his product 15 percent above the cost price okay and offer a discount of 20 percent find a loss percentage incurred by the trader okay 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 so let's assume that the cost price is 100 then assume that the cost price is 100 and he mark his product by 15 uh, he mark his product by 15 percent which is the markup price will be your 115 okay okay and he gave the discount of 20 percent he gave the discount of 20 percent which is nothing but uh, discount percent is given 20 percent which is nothing but after giving a discount he will be selling the product so 20 percent is nothing but two third and 115 minus 223 so he will be subtracting getting what uh, uh, this is what uh, 9 so he basically he's sorry this is 92 he sold that product for 92 rupees that means he bought that product for 100 and sold it for 92 which means he is making loss of 8 rupees now the percent is asking upon CP into 100 this get cancelled so 8 percent is the loss guys I hope this is clear this is the marking of the cost price fine successive discount successive discount is uh, I would say if I give the basic example of successive discount if you go in mall if you go in mall 
usually uh, it's usually a uh, price will be in the successive manner so suppose you bought a, a shirt shirt for rupees thousand there are two shirts one shirt is in this in the way they are selling 25 percent is the discount this is what the uh, one way of selling second is that he is giving a discount of 20 percent but in breaking the discount first giving a 10 percent discount then giving the 15 percent discount 20 percent is 25 percent discount will be flat give me 750 rupees this will be the selling product selling price for the product but here thousand first you will give the 10 percent of this thousand which is nothing but 900 is the selling price on nine uh, 900 you will be giving a discount of uh uh 15 percent which is nothing but uh 5 and 9 plus 4 is 13 minus 13 135 this is 5 and this is what 9 6 uh, uh 8 and 7 so here you give for that same product is 765 here you gave the 750 so you can you can see you are giving 15 rupees extra here in the successive discount and this is what usually happen in the mall that you have to understand 765 extra which means 15 rupees you are giving extra anyway you are not in loss not in profit at all because you went to the mall and so you can understand that okay joke apart okay so question is two successive discount 30 percent and 10 percent are equal to the uh, single discount of what so you let's take a product uh, mark price is 100 you are giving a discount of 30 percent sorry so this will be 70 again you will be a discount of 10 percent on 70 it will it will boils down to uh, 63 so from here to here you can see uh, you bought the product uh, your mark price is 100 but sp is what 63 now the question is which is equal to discount so one time discount is it has to be equal to 37 because 30 uh, rupees here and 7 rupees here fine so answer option is c here fine so last type which is 10 type is selling article into multiple parts and asking the for the net profit and the loss percent or the loss or either could be profit or loss okay a manufacturing cost of a watch is 180 rupees and the transportation cost is 500 rupees for 100 watch what will be the selling price if it sold at 20 percent gain fine fine 20 percent gain 20 percent gain okay so which means cost price for the watch is 180 rupees and the transportation cost is 500 rupees for 100 watch so for one watch it it will be 500 divided by 100 which is nothing but 5 rupees 5 rupees will be the transportation cost for one watch so co total cost will be 180 plus 5 nothing but 185 this is your cost price now what will be the selling price if it is sold at 20 percent gain 20 percent 20 percent nothing but guys one fifth so one fifth one plus one by fifth this is your profit and cost price is given 185 which is equal to your sp so this is nothing but six by five into 185 is equal to sp five three ja 15 and five seven ja then this will be six uh, seven ja 242 and this is six is 18 18 plus this and 222 which means okay which will be selling price for the product has to be triple two so this is what the types of question which we have done guys all right so this is what the type uh, percentage part two uh, which was include which which has include the types of the questions uh, fine our next part will be the level one question and then level two questions uh, will be soon coming up okay fine uh, for any query guys you can uh, you can call on double eight two eight five eight one four five five or five four okay for any query regarding the questions uh, or any information regarding the exams you can call on this number okay or you can visit the facebook page which is manoeuvre itself m-a-n-o-e-u-v-r-e manoeuvre okay and you can uh, do subscribe our channel if you want to see more video like this thank you so much